Hello everyone, this is Tim with Online Big Blue, bringing you the best in New York Giants sports talk and entertainment. I thought we would do a show this Saturday evening. Why? Well, I don't know. The family, uh, the kids and the wife went out to do some errands tonight, and you know, honestly... I just felt like doing a show. And also, I wanted to do a show tonight for Jersey Mike. His name's not Jersey Mike, but I call him Jersey Mike. He's a very he, he's a very good subscriber. Um, also, he's become a friend. And I just wanted to say, wish him well in his recovery. And if you're going to be a Lloyd and buy a Dumb and Dumber little motorcycle, make sure you don't hit a car. That's all I'm going to say about that. Now let's just get into the New York football Giants. Oh, the New and then I'm moving my chair for Jersey Mike. The New York Giants play the Chicago Bears on this Sunday. And I see a lot of people are like, oh, this is a must-win game for the Giants. I see it all over Twitter. And I'm thinking to myself, if you are thinking that the second game of the season is a must-win game for your team, then we are in a ton of, we're in a ton of trouble. No way in hell should the second game of the season be a must-win game. I don't care what your schedule looks like. Because anything can happen any given Sunday. So if the people on Twitter and Instagram and things like that that are saying that, go back and read a book about football. Because week two is not a must-win week. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. And I try not to laugh, and I try not to disparage people because of the fact that people are like, oh, you're being mean. I'm not being mean. It's, it's, it's no way in hell in a 16-game schedule is the second week of the season a must-win game. Now, is it a winnable game? Yes, it is a very winnable game. I do not personally think we are going to win. I think we're going to lose maybe like 28-17. I don't think all of a sudden the offensive line is going to gel. I'm not seeing the pass rush. Even though the line for the Bears is suspect, I am not thinking that we're still going to generate much, much of a pass rush. I know we promoted uh, Ryan Lewis and Sean Chandler from the practice squad. So we have a cornerback, two DBs, basically, to corner and a safety. And uh, Adrian Colbert's going to be out. I don't know what's going on completely with the status with Golden Tate. We have to kind of wait and see with that. But if you're thinking that your team has a must-win game in week two, you got problems. <laughs> or I should rephrase this. You think your team has problems then. Let's look at the Giants' schedule real quick. We got a home game on the 27th against San Francisco. That's going to be a tough game. We got an away game against the LA Rams. That's going to be a tough game. I personally had the Giants going four and five. No, excuse me. I'm sorry. I had them going four and uh, one and four the first five weeks of the season. I actually had them losing almost the first four games and then winning, uh, winning away at the Cowboys. And I'm still going to say the Giants are probably going to be one and four the first five weeks. Now, the problem is you get into the Washington game. I don't know what the Washington game is going to be. I had that as a win. I had that as us going 2-4. and four. But at that point in time, we don't know what the Washington defense is. Right now, the Washington defense looks phenomenal. Looks fantastic. And games that I thought were gimmies on the schedule are winnable games. I'm not sure the Bengals game is a winnable game anymore. I'm not sure the Arizona game is a winnable game anymore. Uh, and those are games that I kind of had a feeling we were gonna we were gonna take because Kyler Murray is, looks awesome. Kyler Murray is like a, is like a one man band, and the defense in Arizona is gelling. Now I do think, and I said this before, I think the Eagles are gonna fall back to earth. <coughs> Excuse me, I think the Eagles are gonna fall back to earth this season. I think we're gonna win in Tampa. I mean, excuse me, win against Tampa. That game is at home. I think now we may be splitting the Washington game. So if I think that, you know, let's take it, so I'm thinking one and five, I'm going to say two and four, three and four, four and four, I'm going to say four and five, five and five, you know, I'm still predicting between six uh, to seven wins for the Giants. And I still think eight and eight can take the division. But in no way in hell, guys, should anyone think that this is a must win game. I, I think you got to take that out of your vocabulary. It's, it's, it's moronic. Moronic statement number two, which I've seen on Twitter and Instagram. We should trade Saquon Barkley because we're never going to be good by the time that, you know, he... Okay, you know what, guys? 
It's the same thing I said before after the Jet game last year. Relax, it's one game. One game does not a career make. We need to focus on that. One game is not a career. He had a bad game. We all have bad games. We all have bad days in life. But that does not mean you trade your transcendental talent at running back. We did that at wide receiver. <laughs> you know, so let's try not to do that at the running back. Now, I am concerned with the fact that you normally can find a good running back in the later rounds. You don't have to draft a running back as high as we did. And I am concerned with the fact that maybe we may not have the talent around him for a couple of years, but you never know what's going to happen. We all, Daniel Jones could blossom. We could find a wide receiver next year. We could pick someone up in, you know, in, in, in you know, in, in the free agent market. Hell, OBJ could come back. We don't know, but you don't trade your, you, you don't trade your, your franchise running back two years after you traded your, <laughs> your franchise receiver. I think that I think Gelman would have to be run out of town on a rail if he did that. But like I said, I I just it was just the two things on my mind that were bugging me. The fact that people are like, this is a must-win game. No, the second game of the season is not a must-win game. And you don't trade your franchise running back. Okay, we used to have the uh, we used to do a segment called the Idiot Factor. And I'm gonna go, I, and I'm not even gonna, you know, mention because, like I said, this was all over Instagram and Twitter, both of these things. I'm not even, so I'm not even gonna pick a person. I am gonna pick Instagram and Twitter as the idiot factor for allowing these two things to be posted. <laughs> you don't say, all right. So here we go. Idiot factor number one: second game of the season is not a must-win game. Idiot factor number two. You'd never trade your transcendental franchise running back after you just traded your wide generational wide receiver. And yes, like I said, in the first five weeks, I had the Giants going one and four. And I still have them going one and four. But that win could either be against the Bears or it could be against the Cowboys. I don't know yet. But I still have us going one and four. I still have us on track, but I do not have us winning on Sunday. Nothing personal against the team. I love my Giants, but like I said... The D, the I, I just don't see the offensive line all of a sudden just gelling. I, I think they're going to double Darius. Ingram has to have a much better game, and he's got a block. If Golden Tate comes back, it's going to be a little bit more interesting. I might I, I may change my prediction Monday Sunday morning if Golden Tate is back. But those are. But we kind of have to just wait and see what's going on. We're kind of going to just kind of go from there. Like I said, this was just going to be a quick one today. And again, this is Tim with Online Big Blue, bringing you the best in New York Giants sports talk and entertainment. And as always, if you could like, if you could subscribe, if you ring that bell, you think you know what that means? That'd be awesome.